Jan Weiss was a Czech sci-fi writer and the father of Czech sci-fi and science fantasy. Born in 1892 in Jelemnice, the son of leather merchant Josef Weiss and his first wife Filomena Richterová. He studied at Hradec Králové, but was sent to the Russian front following the outbreak of World War I. He was taken prisoner at Tarnopol in 1915. He spent the rest of the war in prison camps where he contracted typhus. In 1917, he joined the Czechoslovak legionnaires at Zhitomir. In 1920, he returned to Czechoslovakia to work at the Ministry of Public Labor. In 1928, he married Jaroslava Rashkova, 13 years his junior. In 1942, he was forced to leave the ministry after the Nazi occupation of Czechoslovakia, returning to the ministry in 1945, but working solely as a writer since 1947. He died in 1972. Weiss began writing in the 1920s, publishing his first book in 1927. However, his fantastical writing style was criticized after the communist takeover of 1948, where he was asked to make socialist realism advocating the progress of socialism and the working class. This made Weiss a communist at heart, writes some propaganda pieces, extolling the virtues and wonders of a future communist society, while throwing mud at the insane and evil capitalists of the past. However, most of his fiction was much different, and he himself lamented his inability to write how officials wanted him to. In 1963, his final book was ignored by the press, aside from a scathing critique from Estit Oleg Sus, which demoralized him so much he would never write again. The House of a Thousand Floors is one of his very first works, serialized in 1928, a year after his threefold debut where the new author would release three books at once. The story begins with a man coming to on the padded carpet on a stairway. The man has no memory of who he is or where he is. He tries to find his way out but finds the stairway seems to go on forever. Fumbling in his pockets, he finds papers which reveal his identity as Detective Peter Brock, and that he is located in the Miller Dorm, a massive tower housing entire cities and having over a thousand floors. Ruled over by the self-aggrandizing supercapitalist and owner of the world, the mysterious Oisver Miller. Brock's goal, he finds, is to find and assassinate Miller, and he can do this because he is in fact invisible. He is tasked to wander the Babylonian passages and slums of the various cities of the Miller Dorm, finding ads that promise death, madness, foretelling the future, stabbings, aging to death, and the purchase of stars, among others. Along the way, he finds that Miller is sending rocket ships to other star systems, bringing in wealth he uses to continue buying up the world, while operating human slave rings, and burning the refuse he can't use for slave labor in crematoriums. He also finds that he must try and save a captured Moravian princess that Miller chose to be yet another of his very temporary mistresses. Brock has many adventures in the Miller Dorm, challenging Miller in the temple made to worship him as a god, before he is captured by a blind man with mirrors instead of eyes. Imprisoned in a giant mirror, he escapes and goes to aid the popular revolt, which has taken over the Miller Dorm, led by, among others, the young old blind man prematurely aged and rendered blind, polishing the Miller Dorm, and shriveled by sterilizing food, who was the first person he met in the Miller Dorm. He must find a way to enter Gadonia, the lowest reaches of the Miller Dorm, where a man is said to reach heavenly bliss while still on Earth, to confront Miller in his true form and save the world. The only negative is that the story is revealed to be a dream dreamt by a soldier in a typhoid barrack. Weiss even defended this as necessary in the introduction, but since he wrote so much more fantastical without rationalizing it, I think he was afraid of presenting such an exaggerated fantasy world as existing in some form of reality, hence the backsliding. Even so, it is one of the best works of Czech fantastic fiction and should be known to readers abroad.